in order to put a curve in it I need to work out which way I'm going to cut the rest of the panels and see what I'm left with so I'll work out what I've got and then start cutting so the tank We'll have a, a filler in it, we'll have a bung out, there'll be another bung going back in again. So, minimum is 235, and that is the width of the frame that goes through. So, 255. That's probably a better size than 400 wide, which should be well over six liters, which is tons of fuel for this thing. Alright, done lots of measuring before I did any cutting. Now, I'm getting the bottom and the back out of here. I'm going to use this piece and put a curve in it first to make this top piece. And then whatever's left of that I'm going to use to get the two ends of the tank. And then, after we've done all that, the very last piece, uh, this piece and this piece, I can just get out of this strip. Now, I could get that there and another one there, and then pretty much all I'm left with was this little tiny piece. Where, if I use this piece, I've got a lot of aluminium left for the next bracket that I need to make. So, let's get on with it. Cut, 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 cut him up. So again, cutting aluminium. I'm using this death wheel, but you shouldn't. Seriously. You know what? I'm going to make a short video explaining why. Just don't even go near these things. This piece, we're going to put the, the curve in it first and then trim the piece to suit the curve where it fits into the tank. So, extra tools. So, here we do a curve. Try again, square. Use a great big lump of pipe and some equally large clamps. You don't have to have a great big lump of pipe, but it does help. Now, you may be looking at it thinking, that's nowhere near the same radius. Well, it doesn't need to be. You need a long piece of aluminium to do this with as well. So 
took too much of a bend out here, but not enough out here. So I'll clamp them back in, pull this bit back in. That bottom half is nearly perfect there. It's just from this point, that's too much radius, so. Pretty cool, so it's just there, has to straighten out. That now lines up pretty much perfect with the template. Even got pretty close to the end here, so. bottom, the back, and the front made. So we're going to make the two end pieces. And this is pretty much perfect for that. So. Now always remember, when you've got a unique template, you have to flip it over. Otherwise you'll get two the same. And if you've got a good side and a bad side of the material, well, you don't want a good side and a bad side showing, so. I always keep the offcuts because, well, I don't have a ready supply of aluminium and if you need a little bracket, it's handy to have offcuts. Alright, so all I have left is the front and the top of the tank, which, that's big enough. So I'll cut my two strips. A varying sizes and then cut them down to length. I didn't even need to cut into that one, and I've still got a fair decent size of that piece left. Yeah, that's all the pieces. Just going to go around the edges of all the pieces, clean them up.
So, as you can see, I've got the water cooler working. It is not real loud in the shed, but I'm pretty sure the microphone's going to pick it up. So, we'll just have to deal with that. So I've got the bung the same as what I use in the water cooler and in the portable fuel system. All the pieces for the fuel tank. So I've turned the TIG off again because it was just loud. Now that I've got the basic tank together, I can now test fit this to the chassis and see how it fits. The template was sitting up against the axle, so I'm going to give that 15 mils of clearance. So I'll take 15 mils off all the way around the front, then that plate welds in further back. The plate for the top. Now that's got to have a huge big hole cut out of it for that to go in. So that's not going in just yet either. So I'll test the fuel tank, make sure it fits in the hole, and then go forward from there. Small adjustments required. Better. It's all tacked together now, and the hole for the filler to go in. While well, it's in the chassis, I've marked how high it needs to be fit out the top of the frame so all that's really left now is to weld it all out weld the filler in and, and put our two bungs in anyway first up weld it out
there we go. That water cooler works well. The last weld is just as shiny as the first now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a breather hole in each side but then leave all the excess hanging down so that way any fuel sloshing can hit the side and not come straight up it makes it a little bit more difficult for the fuel to splash out So, having that skirt go down inside the tank will stop the fuel from splashing up through the breather that I'm going to drill on the top. But also having the hole there means that you can fill the tank all the way up. Without that hole, the tank would only fill to the bottom of that. Make sure it's right. And that's it. That's the fuel tank finished. I have to put mounts on it. I haven't decided whether I'm putting a strap all the way around it or putting tags on it with bolts. It's been an unproductive week for videos because several Christmas lunches and lots of days where wifey's working because of Christmas and lots of days that are over 35 degrees Celsius. Yesterday I actually got to 42 here and yeah it's not fun trying to weld in 42 degrees so anyway that's as far as i'm going to get this week as always customize everything